Hello Geminis! This is your reading for March 30th through April 1st. This is for Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and thank you guys for coming. Please show me messages for Gemini in love for March 30th through April 1st. Please show me messages for Gemini in love for March 30th through April 1st. Two of Swords. There's something that you guys just cannot figure out. Okay. And it's almost like you're refusing to see something I'm feeling here. Okay. Refusing to make a choice. Refusing to see the flip side of things. Okay. King of Swords. You keep going back and forth. Very indecisive surrounding something here. Hmm. The Hierophant. You know, what I'm getting is that you guys are really not trying to... You're not trying to look at things from a different... Um, point of view. It's like whatever it is that you feel or what you're thinking, um, that's just it. But I think there's something that's pulling at you guys for you to take a second look at something. The flip side of the coin even. Um, look at it from a different perspective. Okay. There's something, okay, let me see what this is. It flipped over. Yeah, there's definitely something you guys, I feel like, need to revisit, okay? This is all about um, karma here, okay? This is deciding what you need to do so that, you know, good things come your way. This is all about karma and doing the right thing in this situation, Okay, that's very loud. Hang on, guys. Hang on one second. Feel all right. Um, but yeah, it's all about deciding what to do. As and then as I'm starting to shuffle, I see the seven of wands under there. Um, yeah, you're really kind of standing strong. Um, and, and not really want to change your point of view on something here. But there's a need for you to revisit something. Okay, guys. Please show me more about this Two of Swords. What is Gemini so indecisive about right now? Why is Gemini indecisive? Oh, oh there, there's somebody here. Okay. And I feel like there's somebody that you're going for, back and forth about starting over with. Um, this is somebody I feel like when you think about them, they make you happy, but there's also a flip side to this person, I feel. Um, there, there's something that you're remembering about this individual that I feel like is not so good. Okay. But I feel like overall, you see this person as somebody that you could definitely be with, somebody that you could definitely grow with, um, but you haven't decided about them yet. I'm feeling here, okay? Wow, okay. Let's see. Because I was talking about, you know, following your heart here. Um, probably an Aries individual. Then we have the Six of Swords moving on begrudgingly. I'm feeling like you guys, um, there's somebody that you want to go towards here. Hmm. You want to take a leap of faith, I feel, but, you know, it's like, when you think about it, it, it sometimes it's too much for you. It's, it's too much for you. Maybe they were too much for you before, okay? Maybe they were a little too fiery. Maybe you felt like they just took off, you know, kinds of chances and before, okay? Let's see. Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here? The Four of Pentacles. You're still holding on to this person, though. You're still holding on to the thought of them. Even though you haven't made any moves towards them, um, the Empress doesn't move either. So I don't get that either one of you guys um, have been speaking, honestly. 
this person's probably uh, working right now, working on their finances, trying to save some money. Why is a hierophant here? The Three of Pentacles. Hmm. I'm feeling there's a need for you guys to compromise because you've been, you know, you've been holding on to, you know, your idea of how things should be or, um, you know, what you should do. Even though you're holding on to this individual as well, a part of you wants to move on, but a part of you is still here with this person. Most definitely. I feel like, um, you know, you guys have invested a lot in this situation before. And I feel that you guys have been waiting on them as well. But again, there's a need for you to kind of revisit, um, you know, why you are so indecisive. You know, why do you um, still think about this person? Why haven't you made a move? It's like, you know, deciding what is what is good for you um, as well as the other person. Okay. Do you want to compromise with them? Is there a way to compromise here in this situation? Please show me more about justice. Please show me more about justice. Four of Wands. I'm definitely feeling like there is a relationship, maybe even a marriage here. Um, if not a marriage, you know, a very strong commitment. Okay. There's a need to decide, do you want to be happy with this person? Can you work things out so you guys can be stable and happy in the same home, in a relationship? Do you want to marry this person with the Hierophant, Justice, and the Four of Wands here with the Three of Pentacles? This to me looks like a definitely, um, this is definitely like marriage for a lot of you guys. What you're thinking about, what it is that you want. Something very, something very traditional. That's the word I'm looking for. Um... But, you know, you're still, like, undecided here about what to do with this this individual. I'm feeling that you definitely want a new beginning, but I don't see you actually making any moves towards this person. Just thinking a lot here, okay? Let's see what energy is coming towards you guys. What energy is coming towards Gemini? What energy is coming towards Gemini? Eight of Swords. Lots of thinking. There's a lot of hurt and betrayal, I feel like. Um, that you guys have shared with this individual. Okay, you constantly think about things that happened in the past. Yeah, there's a need for you to let go of that because it's like that is what you're so focused on. You're so focused on what happened before between the two of you. So you're like overthinking this situation, okay? Please show me more for Gemini. Five of Cups. There's a lot of regrets, I feel like, in this situation. Um, whether it's you or the other person. A lot of regrets. But definitely want to take a chance here. Want to take a chance here and just throw caution to the wind. Um, I feel that somebody is actually, you know, starting over. Pulling away. Not necessarily in a relationship. But, um... There's definitely somebody here that's getting over something here. They're looking for, they're seeking harmony in their life. Okay. Seeking harmony in their life. Want to leave behind all those feelings of regret, um, unhappiness. Again, we have Aries, Scorpio, Capricorn, um, Libra, Taurus, uh, maybe Aquarius energies here as well. Alright guys, so that is what I have for you and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon.